Ever since the pandemic of 2020, many people have become more reliant on their devices and some have even grown an unhealthy obsession with them. This is called screen addiction and I'm going to tell you how it affects you and how you can stop it. Screen addiction is a fairly common thing, especially among teenagers where they have an addiction to their phones, tablets, or computers. Now why is this bad? Well, an excessive amount of screen use can lead to releasing dopamine in your brain which can negatively affect impulse control. Too much screen time can also affect the frontal cortex of your brain. Not only does screen addiction cause some physical health problems, but it can also cause some mental ones as well. Too much time on your screen can lead to thoughts or conversations being interrupted by video games or social media. Something else that screen addiction leads to is no desire to do any sort of non-digital activity. There are many different ways to fight screen addiction. A good one would be to remove or simply take a break from social media, such as Twitter or TikTok. Another thing that helps quite a lot is having a set amount of time for you to be on a device. That way you know when is a good time to take a break. If you have or used to have a screen addiction, then you're not alone. Since in a survey by Norton LifeLock, 2 in 5 people have admitted to having a screen addiction. And more on that, a majority of parents have said that their children have spent more time on their devices since the pandemic of 2020. Screen addiction is obviously a bad thing, but that doesn't mean that screens themselves are bad. Given the overwhelming need for screens nowadays, it is nearly impossible to go your whole life without using one. So it's okay for you to use a phone or a computer, you just need to learn how to control how long you spend on them. So now you know what screen addiction is, how you know if you suffer from it, and also how to fight it. Screen addiction is a very serious issue, but it only becomes that if you let it. If you're capable of managing your screen time on your own and also don't think about your devices 24-7, then you most likely don't have a screen addiction. Screen addiction can lead to changes in your behavior, senses, social skills, and brain functions. Most of these changes can be very damaging to your personal life, so it's important to understand the dangers of screen addiction.